Hey everyone, today is November 7th, 2011, and this is day number two of stem cell transplant number three. And I, I keep getting interrupted by doctors that keep coming in this room. So this is like the sixth time I've, I've recorded this video, and it, it keeps on getting cut in half. So I'm going to try to make this short, but it might not happen. Anyway, so uh, today... I. I figured I, I don't know this, this I'm gonna do a day by day journal blog thing I th I think I did this years ago where I every day I gave my updates what happened today how am I feeling mentally physically emotionally so and I'm gonna give that another shot um more as a journal for myself but also to kind of keep you guys up to date if you care if you don't care you don't have to watch these and say screw that I'm I'm not watching that crap but. If you do want to know what's going on and uh, what's happening in the life of a uh, AML stem cell transplant patient, this is probably a pretty good, uh, you know, five six minutes every day to watch. So uh, today, um, they're going to do a bronchoscopy, and that they're, they're going to basically come into my room here and numb up my throat with some lidocaine or something like that and uh, shove a whole bunch of tubes down into my lungs and test my lungs for infections because we cannot start a stem cell transplant if I have any kind of infection, fever, you name it, uh, cough, runny nose. I got to be in a perfect bill of health because once the chemotherapy starts, uh, my immune system will be gone for, well, until this transplant happens, it'll, it'll be completely wiped out to the point where it will not come back. Um, my bone marrow will be gone. My ability to produce white and red blood cells will be gone. And if I've got infection floating around and I don't have any white cells, I'm kind of at the mercy of, you know, the antibiotics and praying that they work and kill the infection otherwise uh, yeah that's probably the most common thing that that uh, you know reason why patients don't survive transplants is uh, you know just infections I think lung infections actually coincidentally so uh, I guess on that note I you know I've got about a 50 50 chance of pulling through this how am I handling that um, I think I'm, I don't know, it, 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 I don't know if it ever really sinks in, you know, like all the way, uh, yeah, I've had my moments, but I'm, I'm holding it together pretty well, you know, same, same with my family and my wife, Carrie, um, You know, we're hanging in there, but you know sometimes it's pretty hard. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll do. I'll, I'll do my best, and you know we'll uh, we'll pull through this. But anyway, so there's that going on. But uh, I'll also probably place a pick line in my arm later today. Switching gears here. I don't want to say I'm one thing for too long at a time. I like. To, I want to try to keep these videos short. But they'll put a pick line in my arm today to help give me chemotherapy, also to take blood so they don't have to keep up. Excuse me, poking me with needles. Mm. Poking me with needles all the time. Mm, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of a boring day other than this bronchoscopy, but that's about it. Um. Also this week, actually this coming Saturday, let me see if I can pull up some some details on that. But this coming Saturday, um, a couple friends of ours and, and Carrie's are doing a Zumba charity event. I don't know if any of you know what Zumba is, but I, I didn't until this year. I guess it's a dance kind of exercise, fun activity that people do to uh, get in shape and... Uh, I don't know. Have a good time. But this coming Saturday, November 12th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Clark Bridge Hall in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. 
there's going to be a charity event for Life, um, my nonprofit organization. They're calling it Zumbathon. So there's a Facebook event out there. Uh, if you're curious, um, just look on my Facebook wall and I think uh, the organizer posted something on there. I might put some, I'll probably try, try to get something on the website, but here's my pitch for the Zumbathon charity event for life. Uh, November 12th, Saturday, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 50-50 uh, raffle, drinks, some food, snacks. There should be uh, bucket drawings and games for kids and stuff like that. And you don't have to even like Zumba to go. You can just go and watch and ha have a good time. But uh, that's, that's that. So thank you to those who are putting on the event. And... Uh, all of the others out there who have helped support life and and me and my family because I have received a lot of support from from a lot of you out there and I am very thankful uh, every single day that I have do have such a good support system um, you guys are awesome so uh, so yeah before anyone else comes in through the door and decides to interrupt my spiel I'll uh, I'll say bye uh, thank you all, love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. See you.